There was a guy named Guy McAfee. And Guy McAfee was a uh, the he, he was born in Kansas. He was born in Kansas, and he he made his way out to Los Angeles. I think it was 1888. He was born in 1888, Kansas. So I need to practice this. Um, he owned the Clover Club. When Prohibition was going on, he switched his career in Los Angeles from being a fireman to being a police officer, and he became the vice squad commander. He's supposed to be busting all these underground speakeasies, but instead, he's running some of them, including the Clover Club. They called they called him the Capone of L.A., okay? And he ended up um, running these underground joints, and the new mayor vowed to go against him. So everything out in Vegas and Nevada, I should say, it was legal now, the gambling. So he left L.A., came to Vegas, and he bought this place, the Pear O Dice Nightclub, which is a play on words because it's in paradise. Um, technically, guys, the strip isn't Las Vegas. It's paradise. So he renamed this place uh, Club, uh, the 91 Club, because it was on Highway 91. That was the two-lane highway that ran through town from Los Angeles to Vegas. And he started joking with his friends because he had, you know, in L.A., they had the Sunset Strip, right? Sunset Boulevard, Sunset Strip. So Guy McAfee started calling it the Vegas Strip. He started saying to his buddies, come on out to my joint. It's on the Vegas Strip. And he's the one who coined the Strip, the Strip. He then went on to help open the El Rancho. He also had his hand in the Mandalay Room downtown, which the Mandalay Room on Fremont Street it featured a special effects show. An indoor storm took place every hour with lightning and rain. That's the Mandalay Bar on the right-hand side in that picture. The Frontier Club, he had his hands in that as well, getting that open. And finally, Guy McAfee, after opening the Frontier Club, opened the Golden Nugget in 1946, October of 46, which was three months before Benjamin Siegel opened the Flamingo. So who started Las Vegas? Crooked cop from LA, actually from Kansas. So that's pretty, pretty interesting. He lived into the 60s. He died here in town. Um, that's a medallion that's downtown on Fremont Street. So if you go down there and you buy the Golden Nugget, look for the medallion. And um, that's, that's noting who really, really started Vegas. And if you really want to get into it, and you add Benny Binion into the mix, because Benny was here too. And Benny was a gangster from Dallas, Texas. And the, there was a lot of shit going on. That's him with his third wife, June Brewster. So he got to actually see Vegas become what he had imagined it to become. So that's a little, just a little piece for you guys.